Good morning, Tribbers. I thought I would give you a quick rundown, a quick review of these little PCI riser clamps. In my opinion, they're probably the best thing to ever happen to a mining rig. They're fairly simple to use. All you got to do is place it on like this in such a manner with the USB port pacing away from you and just clip it over. You take it over to your mining rig. You just push it down, push it in, and done. And this is a, uh, what is it? H81A BTC motherboard. This one is just a cheap old Gigabyte motherboard and they fit fine. We have got an Asus Prime, uh, what is it? A Zeus Prime H270 Plus. Works brilliantly. And then we've got a Strix 250H gaming motherboard. Again, work beautifully. I haven't got enough to put everyone on every board because this rig's not mine and that rig's not mine. They're both being in for repair. This, of course, is my battery hasher, which is getting videos made on it at the moment. Works brilliantly. I really, really like it. They're simple to use. They're clean. They're available on eBay. I believe you can even download the STL file off um, one of the 3D printing websites. So they even, with these ones here, what's this one? This one's a 250H Gaming. Just clip it on. Go straight in. Clip it on straight in. Yep. Okay, so it's it's not it's not perfect, but I am doing this with one hand to be fair, right? Clip them all in. Not much harder than doing the the normal way, and it holds them in there super firm. They don't move around, nice and strong. Because I find one of the big things is with some of these cheaper cards, they start vibrating so much that they do actually loosen the PCI riser boards cards, slots, whatever you call them. Now the downside is, um, this is a Osrock H110 Pro BTC and you can't fit two of them beside each other if you had the board fully populated. Um, because this board's not fully populated I wouldn't be able to put one on the end here and I wouldn't be able to put one on this end. But they don't go on that motherboard but they've got every other motherboard I've got in stock or second hand or whatever. Of course that doesn't include a laptop motherboard. Um, it, they don't work, they don't fit, but they, you can put them on whilst the like it's all put in as well. It's a little bit harder, but clipping it over does get around. Uh, some of them have uh, a row of capacitors and stuff in front, so this has got a capacitor in front here. So some some motherboards do have have shit in the way, so you can't actually put them in very easily. But anyway, Tubers, there's a little update. The link will be below. It is an affiliated link, and I would appreciate your support by clicking it. It doesn't cost you anything. And I'll see you on the next one. I'm going to order heaps more of these. I, these. Game changer. Game changer. Cheers, guys.